Hey YouTube, I'm back with another little video. Um, this one's gonna be a little different, a little different, different. Um, I was just in prayer with uh, Jesus at some point today and he put on my heart this song that I wrote back in 2020. The first kind of, wasn't the first song that the Holy Spirit put on my heart, but first kind of lengthy one about his heart um, and is in the springtime of 2020 and he just reminded me of it today he's really putting it on my heart and so i just was singing it out he's like you should sing it out in a video as really and i was like okay done so i'm gonna sing this out um and yeah i just jesus i pray that your heart would be communicated through these lyrics and um that your grace and your forgiveness and your identity would be clearly shown in this song and the right people would come across it and they'd be reminded of your love for them of how you view them lord and that they would just feel and sense and know who you are that you are real that you love them that you care for them and that they would just put everything down and even just they don't even need to look at me um, on this video just put their phone down and listen to the lyrics and imagine it's you holy spirit it's you jesus the heart of a heavenly father who loves their kids loves his kids so i love you jesus and i pray that your heart is clearly portrayed through this song god in jesus name amen so i don't know exactly what the title is i've been kind of going with um from the start i think is going to be the title of it um, anyways, the Holy Spirit gave this to me when I was doing the dishes. <laughs> um, anyway. <sighs> I saw you in your mother's womb. I knew it then that I had a plan for you. I want to do something, do something new. I knew you in your mother's womb. Even before you had those tendencies. Even before you had the questioning. I knew that it was you that I loved. I knew that I had plans that were from above for you. For you. Don't try to understand. Don't try to comprehend this grace that is so sweet i'm bigger than your mind i'm bigger than your heart please oh child don't box me in please oh child don't box me in I knew you in your mother's womb. Knew you in your mother's womb. I still have plans for you. Plans for you. Don't give up. Don't lose heart. No, it hasn't been the greatest start. But trust me, please trust that I know and understand. This is all a part of my miraculous plan. Please don't try. Please don't try to comprehend this grace that is so sweet. I'm 
bigger than your mind. I'm bigger than your heart. Please, oh child, don't box me in. Please, oh child, don't box me in. This is not the end for you. This is not the end for you. This is what I want. This is what you need. Keep trusting in me. Don't give up. Don't lose heart. Because I've known you from the start. <laughs> that ending there was new. <laughs> um, but seriously, these words are so powerful. And I pray that this just encourages you that God's known you from the start in your mother's womb. I know there's so much, I know people want to speculate about when does life start, but in the womb, life starts. That's what I believe. That's what the Bible says. In the womb, in your mother's womb, God knew you. He knows you. In everything that's happened to you, even if he if, it, if he wasn't behind it because it was evil, malefic, malef, malefish, mal, malicious, even if that wasn't his heart for you, he's going to get you through that. And he wants to redeem that. He wants to heal the past. He wants to redeem the past. He wants to heal your mind, your heart, your emotions and everything about you so that that is as if that didn't even happen. He can redeem the past. And so I just pray that you would just understand in this moment how much Jesus does truly love you. And if there's been any lies about distorting his goodness and in his nature and that he doesn't care and why would God, you know, let this happen and all these, your mind's been twisting the truth of Jesus and saying that he's just this awful God out there just hurting you. That's not Jesus's heart. Hear his heart. Play that song back. Listen to his heart for you. He still has plans for you. And I know what someone really needs to hear. This is not the end for you. Whatever you've been through, this is not the end for you. God still has plans for you. Jesus has plans for you. He has plans for you. So all we need to do is what the Lord keeps telling me for the past 24 hours is trust the Lord. Trust Jesus. Trust his heart for you. And that's so hard. I'm learning that as well. You know, we all do as humans. We just need to learn that because it's so hard. And Jesus has set you free. If you're a born again believer, you've done what Romans 10 verse 9 to 10 clearly states, which is pretty much saying, Jesus, I'm a sinner. I, I have gifts. I have talents. I have abilities. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, but I'm a sinner and I'm actually a slave to sin without you. I have no choice but to sin without you. And so I need you to give me the choice of who I'm, who I want to serve. And I want to choose to serve you. Help me. And, and just humbling yourself and asking for repentance and just saying, Jesus, I'm sorry. You're just like, I'm sorry for trying to do my own thing. And I want your help now. And I need you. And I'm sorry. And Holy Spirit, just move and work in my life and help me to become more and more like Jesus. I don't want to do it on my own. That's pretty much what Romans 10 verse 9 to 10 is going to lead you to do. But in order to do that, you have to know who Jesus is. And so I recommend reading one of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, any one of them, even all of them. And just who is Jesus? Because I always tell people, you're not going to want to, I would not tell you to go follow a stranger on the street and commit your whole life to them if you don't know who they are. Like, that's weird. Like, don't do that. Know who Jesus is. Get to know him for yourself. Study. If you're thinking Jesus isn't real, okay, well, study. If you actually want to know the truth, you'll find Jesus. But if you go in like a skeptic with anger and, and closed off and blah, 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 you're going to get so confused. Your mind's going to go to philosophy and what if and hypothetically and potentially. And then all of a sudden you're in a web of yarn that's just literally like confusing you. But Jesus, he actually wants to bring clarity to your mind and he wants to show you that he's simple. He's so simple. It doesn't need to be so complex like you've been making it. Anyways, Bless you guys in all the ways. I pray this ministered to your heart um, and encouraged you because this is Jesus's heart for you.